Well, a very good evening to you wherever you are. I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening. A night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something. A beautiful picture under the floodlights. Traffic and transport round here, not the kindest. But regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. We have already started here. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, you can't really overlook the importance of Bruno Fernandes in this side. Uh, a lot of players of his ilk may be seen rightly or wrongly as luxury players and he's anything but um, a work ethic I've always admired and he's still hard at it as ever yeah I'd have picked him too no doubt the fans feel much the same way Lindelof still goalless floated out to the flank Played out to the right. It's gone out for a throw-in. He's left his man. It's a decent-looking ball. Footballing with usually identifies with. Gets up to head it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously, increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. They can spring out of defence. Oh, 
Aubameyang. Well, that is a good challenge from him. And the counter is on. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Well, he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. but couldn't steer it in. Alex Tellez. Fred. A searching ball that into space. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Fred looking to penetrate opposition lines. Bruno Fernandes! He's got away with one there. He's, he tries a shot! And the keeper passes the test. The keeper... And the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. An engrossing half, but the we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Nil. only allowed in areas shown on this map. Thank you for your cooperation. And we're underway again. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Oh, the shot could be on here. There's the shot! What a wonderful goal! Oh, he's quite the pro. The speed and sharpness in his game gives him an advantageous edge, and he applies it with lethal effect. He's class, real class. Well, that always looked the likely Goal. outcome. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how After good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation Number for that split 21. moment, and Come the on. damage was all done. Manchester United take the lead. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Out to the left it goes. Barcelona looking to get their possession game going here. Yeah, it can be very stylish and expansive to watch if they get it to the standard we know they can. But what's key is the number of ballers in the team. As long as they don't lose the purpose if they keep massive leap oh the ball's run loose here and in again it's loose and there's a race for the ball the attendance for this match was 71,550 Fred who set up one goal so far interesting ball Gets into some space. Towering header! He's got a goal! And there's the goal they've been looking for. 
That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any Come header, on. and if you get it slightly oh. wrong, then you'll struggle. After but that was beautifully minutes. met, it really was. Number 21, Cavani. Manchester United get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? And here's the chance to counter. And it's lofted through here. De Jong. McTominay. It's Fred. Head out wide into space. Bruno Fernandes in acres of space out wide. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. Keeper beats it away. Shot could be on. Oh, it's come. And he's had a hit. Now, who's going to be first to this? And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Good spot, he's seen the run. There really wasn't very much in that, not far away from being a telling final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. And no oh, That was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Substitution. Time for a change in personnel. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager is, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. There will be three minutes added time. No unnecessary risks, and the game is petering out here. And that's it. Barcelona beaten here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Barcelona could still be playing, Peter, and, now, and probably like still be trying to score. It might just be causing some edginess to the camp. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.